Okay guys, welcome to another video. As you all know, I like 3D printing and I like printing big airplanes together with my friends from RC Jet Print. But I also like laser engraving and laser cutting. And for, and this, for this particular video, we have the brand new Alpha <laughs> 20 watts, including an air pump. Well, I'm a big fan of Otter, so they reach out. So they are also the video sponsor, or the sponsor of this video. And in this video, we're going to assemble. First unpack it. <laughs> Do our first, uh, perform our first uh, laser cuts, and then I will give you my honest uh, review. So we have already got the longer V2, 30 watts. We got also the Laser Master 2 extended. Um, and now we're going to test out this brand new laser from Alpha. Let's start. Okay, this was surprisingly fun and mostly fast. Um, yeah, um, a big compliment to the guys who designed this. Uh, the, the quality is quite good. It is fun, but fun to build, easy to build. These are always the same, but it has a nice new feature on it, so you can uh, adjust the speed. And what I do love the most, what I see in the first time, uh, when you want to foot set up your focus, Click like so, loosen this handle, lower it down, block it, and then easily click this button. This is really brilliant. So let's set it up in light burn and let's perform our first laser cuts. Okay guys, I need a new battery holder. So it came with a Playwood. Um, also, the manual says dollar mark 22 is zero. So I put it also in the light burn. I've set it up. The energy, uh, at least the focus settings, are adjusted. And let's go for our first cut. Uh, let's go for 100% power and like 700 to start with. I'm quite new with this laser, so I need to find my settings. So let's see what is going on. Okay. It's doing something. The pump is on. Ah. Got also a flame detector. Lens is good. The air is good. Laser is on and the power is on. This looks quite stunning. So as you can see, it's a little bit still dark, so I probably I can go faster with my uh, laser settings. So we will make another one. Check it out. But so far, so good. The pump is running. Full stop. 
full energy. It looks clean. Oh wow. Oh, I'm happy with this air suction by the way. Almost there, but looks fine. Yeah. Let's try another one. Now we're trying a different kind of wood. The speed is 750, 100% power. Single pass. Looks already good and clean. And the most important is, it's clean on both sides. Yeah, <laughs> quite happy with it. Let's see if the lipo fits better this time. Yeah, this will do. Okay, let's make a fit test. And there you have it. I made a temporary wooden plate for my, to fit my lipo. Uh, we will adjust uh, the lipo holder in the final design so that you can slide it more easily in. But for a temporary solution to find the correct CG, it's wonderful, quick and fast. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. Um, as mentioned in the beginning of this video, I really like this laser. Uh, it's a 22 watts, I think, for cutting wood. Uh, this is more than enough. Uh, if you go higher, you will only, only get some burns inside of wood. So the quality is just fine. I really like that the way that they, uh, how they did the cable wirement. Um, it's all nice and clean. And um, yeah, they did a lot of improvements. So I really like this out there now. Links are in the description. And if you guys want me to see how I built the X32 project, just let me know in the comment. We're also thinking to do a composite model. And in a composite model needs wooden spars. So we're going to use this alpha laser to cut all the wooden spars. So let me know in the comments if you want to see this kind of builds. Okay guys, this is all it for the videos. If you need any questions or just leave them in the, in the comment section. Okay guys, bye bye, see you in the next one.